you with breaking news this morning. Authorities say six people have been killed in a shooting at a Walmart in Chesapeake, Virginia. Investigators say the person responsible is also dead. We will continue to bring you updates on the story as it develops on air and online and coming up in a few minutes on the Today Show. It's 6.50 and according to AAA, 55 million people are planning to travel this Thanksgiving and most people will be driving. Yeah, it's projected to be the third busiest Thanksgiving travel season to date. Amy Liu is in Washington. Well, Destiny and Patrick, good news for drivers. AAA says that gas prices have been falling pretty consistently since June, with some big drops over the last few weeks. Still, it's the highest national average on record we've seen around this time of year. 49 million people are on the road traveling by car during this busy time of year, according to AAA. And falling gas prices arriving just in time, dropping 14 cents this past week to an average of $3.60. But this will still be the highest or most expensive gasoline period we've ever recorded for Thanksgiving. But AAA says the recent drop has to do with stable supply and lower demand. More domestic refineries in the West are back online after a string of infrastructure Structure problems knocked out production and global fears of recession, especially in China. If the Chinese economy were to slow down and there's a, a sort of an economic recession in China, that means it consume less oil, that lowers demand, the price of oil is, will come down. In the U.S., while people are rethinking their daily driving habits, they're not compromising when it comes to reaching their holiday destination. Thanksgiving, it's, you know, it's such a big family-oriented holiday that people just love to get away. And more good news. AAA says that these gas prices will likely continue to fall through the end of this year. That, of course, is dependent on global and domestic factors. In Washington, I'm Amy Liu, WYFF News 4. History was made at a once segregated high school in West Columbia, South Carolina. This Tuesday marked 59 years since Lakeview High School's football team won their last state football championship before integration. To celebrate that major victory and reiterate their commitment to underserved communities, the Brooklyn Lakeview Empowerment Center dedicated a renovated athletic field to the youth of the community. Alums from 1963 passed down footballs to current players and cheerleaders, symbolizing blessings to the next generations that will use the field. The school was scheduled to be demolished in 2006, but it was turned into a community center and will be included on the National Register of Historic Places. At 6.52, before your guests gobble up that Thanksgiving turkey, be sure you're handling it safely. To avoid spreading bacteria, the USDA does not recommend washing or prepping your turkey in the sink. Instead, find a clean area on the countertop and be sure to wash your hands with soap and water before and after you handle it. You'll also want to disinfect any surfaces that the raw turkey touches. While cooking, you should use a meat thermometer to make sure the turkey has a safe internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit during dinner. Be sure some perishable items there are not left out for more than two hours. Experts say as a general rule of thumb, with Thanksgiving being on a Thursday, on Monday you should dispose of any uneaten leftovers in your fridge or go ahead and freeze them for later. Mm, okay. Well, the holiday shopping season is ramping up as malls and stores are gearing up for large crowds. The National Retail Federation predicts this could be the busiest holiday shopping season they have ever recorded. Despite inflation, 166.3 million people are planning to shop from Thanksgiving Day to Cyber Monday. That's almost 8 million more people compared to last year. Overall, the National Retail Federation predicts holiday sales during November and December to increase between 6 and 8 percent compared to last year. And if you're looking to do some Black Friday shopping, Asheville Outlets is open from 8 a.m. until 8 p.m. on Friday. Photos with the Grinch start on Friday, uh, followed by the tree lighting Saturday from 4 until 6. Free photos with Santa will start on Sunday. Black Friday hours at the Haywood Mall in Greenville are from 6 a.m. until 9 p.m. And the countdown is on for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Here's a look at a few of the performers rehearsing in front of Macy's Herald Square, the final destination of the two and a half mile parade path. The 96th annual parade will feature 10 performance groups, 16 giant character balloons, 28 floats, 40 novelty and heritage inflatables, 12 marching bands, 
including Benedict College in yes. Columbia, South Carolina. Shout out to them. 700 clowns and, of course, Santa Claus. Coverage of the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade begins at 9 Thursday morning. Remember, you can watch it right here on WYFF News 4. Yes, we will see you there. After celebrating 20 years last Thanksgiving, the National Dog Show returns for year 21 on Thursday, and it's guaranteed there will be a new Best in Show winner. Last year's winner, a Scottish deerhound named Claire, has retired. Claire was also the dog show's first back-to-back -back winner. John O'Hurley and expert analyst David Fry will host that competition. 212 breeds will be competing. The National Dog Show airs Thanksgiving Day at noon on NBC right after the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. As you're starting to eat, uh huh. yeah, Just I, I will be eating at that point. Try to see the cute dogs after. <laughs> With, <laughs> while eating. Yeah, of yeah. course. Okay. Okay. <laughs>